Good morning, Illini, and welcome back to another Healthy Illini podcast. I'm your host, Matt Schrock, and I want to be sure to welcome you back to campus. Now, granted, it's still a little unusual uh, that we're at the remote start of the semester, but very soon campus will be buzzing with people and with activity. And so to that end, we at Healthy Illini wanted to make sure that you're safe. We want to make sure uh, that you're, you're, you're taking care of yourself when you return. So today we're talking with the University of Illinois Police Department and all the ways you can stay safe on campus. Today, I'm joined by Detective Tara Hurlis. Uh, she has been with the police department nine years here. She's a University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign grad and played soccer here. Uh, Detective Hurlis, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, so when, when someone starts talking about campus safety, uh, there's a whole lot that falls under that umbrella. And I, I do, but I do want to hit on a few specific points. So let's start with when, when someone is out on campus. What are some of the most common ideas that students and guests should be mindful of? So first and foremost, campus is a very large area uh, with a lot of people. We have somewhere in about 54,000 students on top of anywhere from, I'd say, 20 to 25,000 faculty and staff. So that's a lot of people, even though it is a big area. So when you're walking, you're making sure that you're following the pedestrian rules of the road. If you're driving a vehicle, same thing, make sure you're abiding by the speed limit, the traffic signals and signs. And as we all know that there is a ton of construction in and around all of campus. So if it is saying that you cannot enter this area, that's probably because the road's torn out or there's a ton of construction trucks in and around you know, to the north of wherever you are. So just make sure that you are following all those signs, rules of the road, keeping not only yourself safe, but everybody else that's trying to get to and from class, stores, whatever you got going on on campus. Well, and not just when you're out on campus, um, but when you're out on campus makes a difference too because there's a difference between walking around campus during the day when everyone has classes and the difference of going back to the library after a late study session um so uh can, can you talk about the the things to be mindful of or the ideas to be aware of in those two very different situations on the same area correct so when you're for example classes are over uh buildings are locked make sure that you're carrying your I cards with you or whatever key it is that you need to get into that building. And we like to remind folks that um, not allow others to piggyback off you. And so what we mean by that is if you belong in that building, you either can swipe your I card or you can use whatever key was issued to you to get into that space. And we're taught at a very young age, we should hold the door open for the person behind us. Well, in this situation, it may seem rude, but go ahead and let that door shut behind you. We are a public university, so the doors are open all day to anybody. Anyone within the public, whether they're involved with campus or not, they can get into those buildings. But after the doors close around four or five or 6 p.m., I would say don't hold that door open. Um, when you're in those buildings late at night, Make sure when you're leaving for the evening, you're locking your office, um, you're turning your lights off, you're, once you get outside, and if the buses aren't running, we do have safe walks and safe rides. Those are free resources for all students, faculty, and staff. Um, safe walks is a resource put on by the University of Illinois Police Department, where we hire student patrollers who are University of Illinois students. They are partnered in groups of two. And what they do is pick you up from one location on campus and walk you to another location. They have specific hours of operations. The great thing about them is since they are partnered in two, you don't feel uncomfortable walking with just one person. They are equipped with the radios that all police officers use while they're on shift. And from there, what they do is pick you up, whether you use the Safe Walks app, which is free to download to your phone, or you can call that phone number on the back of your iCard that says Safe Walks. Um, those hours of operations, like I said, is Sunday to Wednesday, 9 p.m. to 2.30 in the morning, and then Thursday to Saturday, 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Those are subject to change, but you can either always check our website or call that phone number on the back of your iCard 217-333-1216 and someone can answer those questions for you. Safe rides is put on by MTD which is 
the bus service on campus and they have fixed routes, which is they pick up at certain locations and only drop off at certain locations. And if you want more information from them, I'd check out their website or call that number on the back of uh, your iCard. That was something I was going to ask about how to how to get in contact for those things. And uh, as always, we will have uh, uh, resources listed in the episode description. So we'll have uh, some of these things linked and you can get uh, find them there if, if you didn't catch it as we were talking about it or you, uh, you just want to have it save it for, for future. We will have those those things referenced there. And, you know, it, it's little things like that, you know, shutting the door behind you. Um, if you're going, leaving somewhere, letting someone know you're leaving the library, you know, just text somebody say, hey, I'm leaving now. I should be here at this time. That way someone knows that you're out and about. Um, and that's where safe walks can come in uh, handy too, is just to make sure that you're that that someone knows where you are when you are and, and keeps you safe on campus and when you're uh, talking about libraries or you know a common area if you're going to study and you've got your books your computer your cell phone any of your important belongings laid out on a table and you have to get up and go to the bathroom or you're going to go to the coffee shop within that building uh, as much of an annoyance as it would be to pack your stuff up and take it with you wherever you're going you may lose your seat, um, but you're not going to lose all your belongings. That's thousands of dollars worth of electronics. Books alone are even more expensive sometimes than your computer. So pack those things up with you, take it to the bathroom, take it to your, um, to go get coffee, and then go ahead and find another seat once you're done with that. Uh, just to be proactive about taking care of your belongings uh, and not just leaving them out there for anybody to possibly take. Yeah, and that actually segues into the next thing I was going to ask you about, because, um, you know, when you think campus safety, the first thing you really go to is walking across campus or being out with traffic, things like that. But it's not just out and about on campus. It's also in your personal space. And we have a lot of students here that this is their first time living on their own. This is their first time venturing out and doing that. And, and safety also applies to your home. And things like that. So whether somebody's in a dorm or a dorm room or in an apartment, um, what kind of tips can you give to somebody to make sure that their personal space and their property is, is as protected as possible? Correct. So whether you're in your dorm, your apartment, if you're renting a house on campus, um, again, make sure you're locking your doors, locking your windows. If you're going away for a break, um, make sure especially those items are locked. If you have a car on campus, do not park it in the middle of Green Street to run in and grab food while it's running because it might not be there when you get back um, because it could be towed or it could be stolen. Um, if you're running into the library to print something real quick to then come back to your car, turn your car off, park it in a parking spot and make sure you're paying those meters so that you're proactively not having someone or giving someone that opportunity to take your car um, when you go to the arc or Cersei or somewhere to work out make sure you're locking your belongings up in those lockers don't leave your shoes or your wallet or your i-card any of your personal stuff on the gym floor and then go to the weight room and come back and your stuff could or could not be there those are those are things that you can control and proactively do so that you're not looking for your stuff or having to call your parents and say, hey, my cell phone was stolen, my car, my shoes, whatever those items may be. Just keep track of where your stuff is. And um, another key fact I like to share is I think the university makes it hard enough to create a password because you have to have special characters and numbers and letters. It's got to be like 52 spaces long. Not really, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, don't share those passwords with people. Those are personal to you. Do not share your iCard or let someone borrow it or use your keys. Because when you're handing those things out, yeah, you're not going to lose them. But what if somebody else loses them? So just keep in mind that some things are issued to you specifically so that you're the only one that's supposed to have that specific property. If you're renting a house somewhere in Champaign-Urbana, get to know your neighbors. Um, let them know when, hey, I'm going on spring break or hey, I'm going home. Um, can you just keep a lookout for if anything odd 
is going on at the apartment or the house or, or wherever you're at, um, get to know the people within that neighborhood um, because you're here for an extended period of time. And that's the whole point. You're not only getting your degree while you're here uh, at the University of Illinois, but you're also creating and establishing relationships that could you know, last your whole lifetime. It could be someone you could ask for a reference letter from. You never really know. So make sure you're creating those relationships and um, enjoying being here at the university. Yeah, not, not being isolated goes a long way to being safe. Um, it's just like, you know, we were talking about walking on campus. If somebody knows you're walking or you call, you know, a safe walk, uh, safe walks, you have people with you. Same thing with where you're living. If you're, if you're not isolating yourself completely, um, it's not about being, um, an extrovert necessarily. It's not even about getting outside of your comfort zone too much, but just making sure you have connections to people. Um, that really goes a long way with keeping yourself safe. And, and a lot, for a lot of us, it's one of those things where, oh, it won't happen to me. And then it does. And, and, you know, unfortunately it does happen to people um, and certain things have never happened to me. Certain things I never thought would have in my life have happened to me. And it's kind of the same way with, with your own personal space. You think this is my space and I'm safe here. And most of the time you're correct. Um, but it just, it takes, takes that one moment you leave the car to run inside or you leave your door unlocked and you run to class or down to the mail room or whatever. And something unfortunate happens. Yeah. Make sure you're uh, extending yourself out and having a core group of people you can reach out to at any point in time so that if you are going somewhere or you're doing something and you're pretty, you're on a pretty, I don't know, normal schedule. And if you're not somewhere where you say you're going to be, then those core group of people know what's going on. And that seems odd and out of character for you to not be on time or not show up at all. I just think that that makes coming to college and going away from home, because some of us have never been away from home in our life, especially if you're a freshman or an exchange student or, or whatever the situation may be, um, it, it helps you adapt to such a large campus full of a ton of different people. So it really does make a huge difference. Um, you, you mentioned uh, and, and as part of that experience, there, sometimes you go to, to a place, especially a campus like this, and you don't know all the resources that are available. You don't know all the things that are there because, one, it's kind of overwhelming <laughs> because it is such a big campus. And there's so many options, which is wonderful, but sometimes you don't know all the options because you've not heard about them. You've already mentioned uh, safe walks, safe rides. Um, you, you talked about uh, the stuff on the iCard, things like that. But there's, there are some other resources I want to make sure people are aware of. Um, first uh, of all is Illini Alerts. Um, so could you talk a little bit about what Illini Alerts is and how to be a, become a part of that? So I will share with you before the end of this uh, podcast, and I created a uh, campus safety booklet, you know, submitted it to our communications director, and he made it look very fancy and very nice. But within that um, booklet is a lot of resources that anybody can refer to, and, you know, everything is online. And let's be real, even though I did go to school here like 20 some years ago, I know I'm aging myself. However, <laughs> um, you get all these brochures and pamphlets in this cool Illinois orange bag. And let me tell you that cool bag and all those pamphlet and resources stayed in the bag under my desk <laughs> all year. And I think at the end of the year, I moved out and, you know, probably just threw it away because I didn't know all those resources that were available to, you know, all the students at any given time. And most of them are free. And yeah. I, who doesn't like free 99? So within this campus safety booklet, what, what I've got on there is a bunch of QR codes, specifically about the Align Alert. Everyone should be registered through their net ID to receive those Align Alerts. And you can choose to get them to your email or to your cell phone or to both. And if your family members or, you know, people you've lived with your entire life want to get those Align alerts as well, and they're not students, they can text a number. I'll get back for that. Your family members can text the number or you can scan this QR code to make sure that you're registered. Because if you were a student here before, like myself, 
and then come back, but let's say I have a new last name. That align I alert's not going to transfer over. So you just want to make sure that you're receiving those that go out. And it it talks about things that are happening on campus, like fires or severe weather. Um, if someone's trying to harm others, that alert will be put out of where this incident happened. Please stay in a away and avoid this area. Uh, and then you'll receive a follow up email or text that says, go ahead, you can come back within this area. Um, the It's safe. So it just provides emergency information and instructions on uh, how to protect not only yourself, but the people around you. So it, it's kind of cool. So that, that you, all you're gonna have to do is scan that QR code. Um, to make sure you have that access. I also did QR codes for, um, we have a really cool um, initiative we're doing at the University of Illinois Police Department. Some of you may have heard of it, um, some of you may not, but we have currently five therapy canines um, that are spread all out through all of our shifts. So we have a day shift, second shift, and third shift. And currently there are three on days, one on seconds and one on thirds. And you can scan this QR code and request a visit from any of our therapy dogs. And that's if it's during exam time, it's super stressful. Let's say you're having an event. Um, obviously COVID guidelines, we have to be an outside event uh, at this point in time. But if you're homesick, you know, even if you don't love dogs or animals, seeing a big goofy dog just is going to make you smile. So having that dog come in your area and, and just be there and the main job of that dog is just to make you smile and make you feel comfortable. That's that's what they're there for. So our therapy canines are partnered with um, whether it's a officer or detective. And even some of those officers are even partnered with a social worker. And that's our REACH unit, our response, evaluate, and crisis help. And what they're trying to do is make sure that someone that's having any crisis whatsoever is getting those resources that they need. Because crises don't just happen during business hours. They happen all hours of the day, night, morning. So if something happens outside of business hours, those social workers um, and therapy dogs are there to assist, get those resources out until the next business day. Well, that just, I mean, that highlights uh, what, what we're talking about when we talk about campus safety and all the things that go into it and the police department, all things that go into it, that it's more than just what you instinctually go to. Uh, when you think police department, you think crime you think you know that sort of thing and you know um accidents traffic somebody shows up police report that kind of thing um but it, it's not just that side of it it's also the 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 safety on campus the helping with the walks and the rides you know therapy dogs it, it's, it's keeping people safe and keeping people healthy in their in as many ways as you possibly can and i think that's something that um that hopefully as students will listen to this and go through the the resources they'll learn that there's a lot of things that are available to them and take advantage of them yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, it's a big campus. There's a lot of people here. And for someone to be able to feel like they can be successful, they have to feel like they're safe too. So you can't have one without the other. Yep. And if you're here and you're struggling, whether it's with school or um, classes, or you can't find uh, a job, or you are you have too much going on, there's so many uh, resources you can reach out to that can help you sort through those things. and if you were to ask me, and maybe I don't know the answer, but I will find you who you need to talk to to make sure that you are getting the help, the resources, so that you do feel safe and that you can have a successful collegiate career. And that's something that we've we've tried to uh, convey through all of these podcasts is that we at Healthy Illini are here. If you need help, reach out. We're here to walk with you. And every one of our guests is involved in that as well. And that includes the police department, um, that you're here because you care about people. You're here because you want to help people 
because you want to help make this community as safe as possible. So everyone has a good experience and goes away from here, ready to do whatever they've been, they've been, they desire wherever their path leads them away from UIUC. Um, but while they're here, we are here to help and you are as well. Correct. And, you know, I didn't even know that there was a specific police department within the university when I was a student here. Um, I always said it was because I did a good job of not getting caught getting in trouble. But in all <laughs> seriousness, if you see something or something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't right. So seeing that, be uh, vigilant and, and report that. You know, it may feel uncomfortable talking to a police officer, um, but if you can put a face with a name from this podcast, you can always reach out to me and we can get whatever situation needs to be sorted out and, and sort that out just so that you can go on with your time here at the U of I uh, to make sure the whole goal is to graduate with your degree. So yeah, exactly. Well, that's our time today. Um, so I, I, Detective Her uh, Herlis, I really appreciate you being here. I appreciate you taking the time and talking to us today. Yes, yeah, no problem. Thanks for having us. Being back on campus is always an exciting thing. And uh, we want everyone to stay, stay safe, whether it's staff, faculty, guests, students, whatever it may be. And uh, the University of Illinois Police Department is a huge part of that. And there's a lot of resources, as you heard. We'll have those in the description. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us. You can reach out to them. Uh, we'd be happy to talk to you, uh, put you in contact with whoever you need to talk to um, about whatever it may be. Uh, but we encourage you to, to look through what, what's available and take advantage of, it, of that this semester. Thank you for joining us today. You are on a personal journey no matter where you are in it. You are important and you matter. Your health and wellness are important and matter, and we are here to keep you well to excel. So go have a great week, Illini. Let us know how you're doing, and we'll catch you next time on Healthy Illini.